no dice. We are learning there's more pushback against the potential for a casino in Fairfax County, Virginia. Yeah, and this time from elected officials in the county who say they were not included in the process and the plan does not benefit their constituents. Our Northern Virginia reporter Max Marcilla has the latest tonight from Fairfax. It was a fairly uniform show of displeasure from Fairfax County supervisors, essentially all of them saying at a minimum the process and the proposal to bring a casino here is flawed. I have a lot of concern. It's a really bad financial deal. So don't let anybody tell you that the bill in its current form is about getting more money to Fairfax County. It's not. One after the other, Fairfax County supervisors criticizing the bill moving forward in Richmond, which would leave it up to county voters to decide whether they want a casino here. Richmond can also pass some really bad bills and leave us with a mess on our hands. Chair Jeff McKay sending this letter tonight to leaders of both parties in both chambers, stopping short of completely opposing the measure, but making it clear that this is far from a jackpot. We get hosed, we are the state's ATM, and the financial model here at a minimum uh, would have to improve dramatically. McKay says 70% of a casino's gaming tax revenue would go to the state. Only 30% would stay in the county. Yeah, Senator Dave Marsden, yeah, who introduced the bill, says it's about keeping Virginians money here instead of at Maryland's MGM Grand. I'm, I'm getting tired of paying for Maryland schools. I think it's time we paid for Virginia schools. But tonight, in this Fairfax County committee room, community members rallying behind those who say this isn't a gamble worth taking. There's better things that could go in an open space. It just doesn't fit within the community where we live. There is still a ways to go before Fairfax County voters will even have a say on whether a casino could come here. It would first have to go through another Senate committee, then the full Senate, then the full House, and only then, if it gets Governor Youngkin's signature, will it come here on Election Day. Reporting in Fairfax County, Max Marcilla, DC News Now.